Our third top 10 checkpoint is making Oklahoma the most business-friendly state in the country. Last year's pro-business policies are already paying dividends. Canoe, an electric vehicle manufacturer, is a perfect example. Last summer, Canoe announced it will open a factory in Pryor next year and bring 2,000 jobs to Oklahoma. Canoe's CEO, Tony Aquila, said he chose Oklahoma because he wants to be where the puck is going, not where it's been. Since Canoe's initial announcement, it added a technology hub, software development, customer support and financing centers to Oklahoma. That's at least 700 more high paying jobs to our state. Tony Aquil is here in the gallery today. Tony, thank you for believing in Oklahoma and for pioneering, helping to pioneer the future of our economy. Tony, please stand up. Canoe is just one company that has seen the benefit of Oklahoma being open for business. Thanks to the governor's closing fund and the legislature's investment in business development, the Department of Commerce is coming off its best year ever. Secretary Scott Mueller and his team are working hundreds of opportunities, thousands of jobs, and billions of dollars in investment in our economy. But Open for Business isn't just about recruiting new companies. We've launched an innovative platform to help Oklahoma manufacturers solve supply chain issues. Our system connects them to buyers and sellers and keeps their money in Oklahoma. More than 400 companies are already signed up. We are delivering on creating jobs and growing our economy. But we are at a critical junction when it comes to our state's workforce. Across the nation and here in our state, businesses are struggling to find the employees they need. We need more nurses, more teachers, more engineers. Tinker Air Force Base is rapidly expanding. I met with the Secretary of the Air Force at the Pentagon because we expect to add six to 10,000 jobs there over the next five years. Our state's workforce needs to grow at the same pace as our businesses. That means we have to be bold. Our entire education system must be aligned and motivated to meet this challenge head on. Let's tear down silos between K through 12, career techs, and higher ed to train the next generation. Every student needs to be college ready or career ready. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.